Welcome back to my channel, I'm Michelle, and today we've got an upper body push workout. If you're looking to build muscle in those arms, this is the workout for you. We're gonna be focusing on the chest, the tricep, the shoulders. Using moderate to heavy weight, there are three blocks of work, three moves in each section. We're gonna do 40 seconds of effort with a 20 second transition, and we're doing two rounds. To level up your workout, things that can help you is tempo change, the amount of weight that you're using, and your range of motion. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. And if you want more content, you just can't get enough of us, or maybe you wanna help me create content, make sure you click that join button below. Roll the shoulders back. We got a quick two minute warm up for this workout. You're gonna open and close the arms. So we're thinking chest, triceps, and shoulders today. So it's push day. We wanna have that moderate to heavy load. That is gonna help you to build muscle, help your metabolism, and change the shape of your body. We're gonna squat and then just reach the right arm up and over, and then squat left arm up and over. In a squat, right, drop to the heels, press through them and rise up tall. We're gonna be in a plank position here. Step the feet back. Give me one push up and then down dog. If you need to do to the knees, go to the knees in the push up. In your push up, we're warming it up chest to shoulder height. You don't need to go too low. We're gonna come up for jumping jacks. This time we're gonna push the hands to the ceiling in the jack. twist here. Our first move is chest press. Heavy weight, right? So chest press, heavy weight, seated on the ball or your bench or on the mat. I'm going to be using 25 in each hand, so we're going to walk it out. Have that upper back on the ball or the floor, pressing up and in. Or, right, if your weights are on the lighter side, keep your hands out wide. I might walk out even further so my head can be on the ball. That's gonna protect your neck. But again, if you've got light, you could actually go faster, right? Tempo change can make it harder. And for me, I'm gonna keep it wide. I feel like you have a barbell, so you can't press them inward. And that gives you, guess what? More triceps. Single arm overhead extension. I'm gonna do 12. And this is gonna be the first arm that I do. On the ball. So when we're seated, no cheating, right? You can have that arm by the ear. I'm gonna start with it down so that I have that right by the ear. From the bottom, I'm gonna press it up. And then you have to make sure you have good posture. So open your base up. Now if you have a smaller ball, right, you might need your feet wider. And then chin up, fully extending the arm. Because when we get to that straight, boom, we're gonna really turn on the tricep.
and it's much harder sometimes when we do single arm stuff. Oh, this one's getting tough. That's it. Whew, that's all I could do. I like to rest the dumbbell in my hand. So we got the other, the other arm. And again, watch your posture. Like if you have a mirror in front of you, that's so great. Or put your camera on and you, you can record yourself. So arm by your ear, lengthen, and then go for that overhead extension. Ooh, this arm feels easy right now, right? And then you can just like, hey, check your posture all the way up. So your body's super smart. It knows how to make something easy, right? So how will it make it easy? Well, it's like, oh, I can bring the arm out here. No, harder when I get it right into the position it needs to be. Plus, we get all this great stuff right there. Bra area. Back into chest press, 20 seconds. This is where it gets a little bit hard, right? What can you do to level up? So try those a little bit heavier if you can. Definitely on a bench or a ball is gonna give you a bigger range of motion. Get yourself in position. Weight is up. And then do your drop and push. Again, you can find a range where it's kind of in the middle. You could do down halfway, down all the way. So when you come back to the workout, you can make it feel a little bit different. Single arm overhead extensions. Ooh, ooh, that was getting heavy. So one arm, what do you have? Anybody need heavier? No, yeah, go for that hard stuff. Here we go, arm is up, drop it at the bottom here, and then bring it to the top. I'll turn front so you can see just exactly where my arm is. All right, I can have that base open here, and I'm keeping the spine really tall. You can check that posture wherever you want to have your hand. Ooh, we're only halfway through that one. And I said before in the last workout that if you don't ever make that face, hey, maybe you're not going heavy enough. Or maybe you just don't make that face, right? Come on, I make that face. You guys make that face, don't you? I make that face. Okay, oh, we, we still got 10 seconds, relax. Ooh, you can wiggle it, shake it out a little bit. And I have a mirror in front of me, so I can see if they're making that face. Drop it, press it down. I just can't see you at home. All right, so remember, check that posture. Hey, we get all these great things here too. And then if your shoulder is an issue, right, then find a range that works for you. Maybe it can't be so close to your ear. I won't come over there. The workout police will stay right here. She's on duty right now. All the way up. Ooh, all right, we have that little break. So, if you feel like it was too easy, right, then the break is too long. You can always bump ahead. But we're gonna go into shoulder press. I would typically use 15. Today I'm gonna use 12 because I didn't remember my um, 15. So take a break, get some water, and we're getting ready for shoulder press. And we also have a chest fly and kickbacks. So you're in your set position, you're nice and tall. We're gonna start at the bottom and press to the ceiling. 
shoulder press. Now again, all the way up to the top and then stopping around just above that shoulder. And again, if you want it harder, right, keep it wider like you have a barbell. And you can't press them inward. That does make it harder. And I'm kind of sticking my booty out a little bit here to keep an arch in my low back. I got a lot of booty to stick out. Chest fly. I'm gonna keep my 12s. So I'm gonna walk out so that I am at an angle. And weight is gonna start out in front. My back is kind of like, you know, I have my butt close to the ground, but it's actually not on the ground for my chest fly. We're gonna open it out, squeeze it in. And the head, and if I was Carol, I would drop my butt down, bend your knees a little bit more, drop your butt down. And it feels different. That feels harder to me versus being hips up. When we're at an, like an incline position, it is harder. And you get the shoulder, the front deltoid. Inhale, you lower, exhale, you're up. And again, the ball is gonna help you increase your range of motion versus having the floor. The floor, you can only go so far. Oh, close grip press. I'm gonna hurry up and go to 20s. Anybody want my 12s? Close grip means I keep it tight to my body and I'm in a press position. All right, I start with it around the belly and then I push it up over the shoulders. Pressing it up to the belly, over shoulders. Inhale down, exhale up. Oh, this was heavy. Ooh. Hits the little chest. Tricep. Elbows lock and load. I want you to touch those dumbbells together for me, Carol. Done. Shoulder press. Ooh. All right. Gotta shake it out. I'm gonna go back for my 12s. Nobody wanted these? All right. Seated. So feel the difference when you're seated versus standing. To me, it's much harder. Oh my gosh, right? I think I heard everybody behind me go, oh, oh, right? Love it, Catherine's going one arm and then the other. Yeah, if your shoulders start to feel something too, right? Maybe you can turn your grip. That can help too. Oh, here we go. Come on. We got 10 seconds. Oh, chest fly. Ooh. All right. So determine if you want to make it hard or easy. That's up to you. Right? We're gonna walk it out. Get ready for that chest fly. Ooh. Weight is up. Open in that T and then squeeze in. I'm taking the thumb and kind of turning it out and then rotating pinky in. I'm just saying that's all I'm doing. You can try it. Oh, my arms are starting to shake a little bit here. How about yours? A little bit? Close grip press. Ooh. That's a hard combination. Oh, you ready? I'm gonna go 20s. I'm gonna keep it. Ooh. So dumbbells touch, right? Start it down on your bottom, like right over the belly button. 
and elbows in and press up over the shoulders. Be a moderate to heavy, that's where we're going, right? Come on, bang them out, you got this. Doing so good. Or break there, all right, take a break. Ooh, get some water. And in this next one, we're gonna be doing skull crushers, push-ups, and kickbacks. Ooh, all right. We're going to walk the feet out, have that upper back on the ball. Arms are up. I'm using 12 in each hand here. Arms over shoulders, hips are lifted. Bend the elbows and push it all the way back to the ceiling. Now again, you could do this on a bench. You could do this on the ground. If it's easy, I would say pinkies kind of turn in a little bit, just that slight rotation can make it feel like it activates a different part of your tricep. All the way to that sky, come on. Straighten it out at the top, bend it to about a 90 or it can go lower. Push-ups, feet can be on the ball or the floor. You could do knees. The further you are away from your source, right, the ball, the harder the push-up. I'm gonna have kind of shin area on there. Another option, weights, you can have your hands on your dumbbells. We're gonna do push-ups, chest to elbow height or lower. And again, the further I'm away, the harder it is. We've added more weight now. The legs elevated. Pull your abs up and in. Maybe some apples in the butt cheeks, right? In your pockets. Now that everybody has pockets in their pants, right? Oh, come on. You can do this. You got this in you. Relax. Kickbacks. Ooh. I'm gonna go for 10 of my kickbacks. I'm actually just gonna have my knees a little bit bent on the ball to help me with my posture. Whew. And then we're in the last stretch here. So elbows to the ribs. Give me that kick it back. Try to stop around the thigh with the weight and then straighten the arm out. And then look out in front, pull the head back a little bit. Those triceps. Oh, relax, okay, skull crushers. Going back to the top. Maybe a little stretch. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm hot now for sure. Here we go. Get in position. Little skull crushers. You can do one dumbbell, you can do two. Arms are up. Ooh. Bend those elbows. Straighten it out. Here we go. Turn it up. We're in the home stretch. We get a great range of motion here. Come on. We are building muscle, changing the shape of that body. Stoking the metabolism. Helping your bone density. Look at all the great things that you're doing for you. Ooh, 
push-ups. I'm gonna show you what I mean too by, like you can have your weights kind of like a little inward and you can use them in your push-ups too. And you can get a good range of motion. Right, we're in position for whatever push-up you wanna do. Drop and push. Even those push-up bars, you ever use those push-up bars? Remember, take a break at the top if you need for a moment. Doing okay? Yeah, got really quiet. How about you at home? Come on. One more. Nice job. Ooh, I wasn't sure if I was coming up. Here we go, kickbacks, last movement here. Ooh, I'm gonna try my 12s. I'm going for it. Ooh. You can even, you know, squeeze the ball, use some adductors here, right? Kick it back. So I gotta say, I am a fan of heavy weightlifting but not for me all the time. I like to change it up. Sometimes I like heavy, and sometimes I like light. Err. I think it's good for me, so you find what works for you. Come on, how's that posture? Back is flat. Don't throw the weights too much. Three seconds. One more. Nice job. Oh, 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 my arms, how about yours? Shake them out. Hey, we're gonna throw in a five minute lower ab and finish this off. We're gonna start with the ball up. Again, you could have just hands under hips or your hands by your head. We're gonna scissor the legs down up. Start to scissor the legs, move them down. Go as low as you can and then bring them up to about a 45. And then again, back down. <sighs> We're gonna be pulling really up and in in the waist. A lot of leg movement when we're thinking about lower body or lower abs. Back of the head is on the mat. Ball's gonna go into legs for a V up. All right, we're gonna come down to the ground. Take it up and bring it down. Bring your body up and down. Again, wherever you want the hands, right? I'm gonna, I might take them kind of everywhere. Ooh. Or you can stay with the hands on the ground. I kind of like this. My fingers are on the ground. I think Cheeky's got like a weighted ball, don't you? Ooh, she's gonna be working hard. Ball in the hands, we're gonna drop the legs. Now, this is where you start and you stop, so this is where I'm always gonna come back to. Drop one or two legs, and then back up. And I want you to tap shin to ball. Almost pull it in. Hip lifts are coming. Ball in the knees. My ponytail is not in the right spot. So we're gonna just lift the hips in and up. I'm gonna bring the ball a little down into my shin. In and up. Popping the hips off the floor and lifting up to the sky with the feet. All right, relax. Start from the top. We're gonna start with that scissor. 
Arms are up, legs are up, stretch the scissor legs down and go up. Ooh, this is making me sweat, how about you? Oh yeah, this is that deep core work. Leg lifts, you could do it without the ball if you want to. I'm gonna do a round without the ball here. Well, if you're not gonna do the without the ball, I'll go ball. So leg lifts. Be a little faster if you can, right? We're gonna go up, release, lift. Oh my gosh, you doing okay? Come on, three seconds, two, holy moly. Woo. Leg drop, ball or not, you're gonna do without. You can do without, you can have just the arms up, legs are up, drop both legs. So again, you can have a hands under hips. The ball is a great at home tool, right? It's so very versatile. Use it for so many things, and my kids love it too. Oh, that's all I could do. Oh. All right, we're gonna finish this with that hip lift. This is it, last 30 seconds. About knee, shin area, hands by the hips, pop them up. You can do it without the ball, right, Dan? <laughs> Everybody's good though. The ball's a great addition. Unless it rolls away, right? It makes your inner thighs fire up so it goes deeper into your low abs. <laughs> oh, this is it. Oh, oh my gosh. Nice job. Reach it out. Ooh, take a deep breath here. Ooh. Mm. Oh, nice job today. All right, we're gonna rock it up. Come onto your feet. All right, reach your arms out. Open up. Ooh. And then palms go down, thumbs down. And then give me tricep stretch. Clasp the elbow. And then you can also do a little side stretch. Do a little reach out for a moment. And then grab elbow. Little side stretch. Oh, way to work it today. Oh my goodness, right? It's consistency. So how do you do these workouts, right? You could do, depends on your level. Round back and then hands behind the head, open the chest. You could do one day push one day legs, one day full rest, and then repeat. Round again. Open the chest. And then let's fall forward, just hinge forward. Oh, rag doll down. Hmm. Take a deep breath here. Oh. Roll it up, bend the knees, roll your spine up. And then big inhale, reach it up, reach it back. And then pull your hands into your heart. Take a deep breath here, big inhale. And let it out. Yes, nice job, yay for you. Get through push day, do make sure if you did not do the whole day, check that out, check out the legs. You guys, you have an awesome day. I'm gonna thank my crew, thank you Cheeky. She let us come back to the basement, Catherine, we got lives in the back, Jen in the middle, Carol on the side, and you at home. Thank you guys. You have an awesome day, and we're going to see you back on this mat. Take care.